Lauren was born an overachiever. She's very driven. I don't know where it comes from. This. If she came in second, the second wasn't good enough for Lauren ever. Lauren's like one of the, maybe the most competitive person I've ever met. <laughs> kind of like being able to do things in excess. If I'm gonna like, if I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna go on a long ride. She didn't get that from me, that's for sure. She gets this all from herself. I bought Lauren her first bike, right? And Lauren must have been maybe four years old. I always tell her that, you know, I got to start it on her, her cycling career. I started when I was 18. I crashed in my very first race. And then my second race I won, and then I was kind of hooked. I was invited with Team USA to go to Europe, and that was an eye-opening experience. Oh, that's, that's some tough racing. <laughs> I thought I had made it. <laughs> I was like, oh, my life, done. I made it, I'm going with Team USA to Europe. Cycling, complete. San Dimas. Southern California, it was an eight lap circuit race. So we were going around the same course eight times. But the race course was like, it was pretty dangerous. Apparently I pulled off the side of the race course to drop back into the field. But my handlebars happened to get caught on the metal fencing. I hit that at about 37 miles an hour into a fence flipped over the fence onto my head. I received a phone call somewhere around noon. My whole world just shifted. I had to ask the question, is she okay? All he said was, you need to get on a plane now. <laughs> then I got to the hospital and I couldn't believe. couldn't recognize Lauren. Lauren did not look like Lauren. She was in an induced coma on a respirator. They did a CAT scan of my brain, which showed internal bleeding. She had neck injuries. Uh, she had ligament injuries that was affecting her spinal column. I had no idea what to do next. I had no idea where to go, who to turn to. The people who don't go through this, they don't know what to expect. Um, they don't know um, where to go, who to turn to, what life is going to be like. The doctors in California didn't give me much comfort when it had come to her, her brain injury. Talking to people on Lauren's cycling team, they had mentioned to me that there was a great hospital in Colorado called Craig Hospital. So I made a few, few phone calls to Craig Hospital, and they told me they were going to send someone to meet me in the hospital in California to evaluate Lauren to see if they could support her, if they could help her. And that was probably the first moment, the only moment to that point where I felt a weight lifting off of my shoulders. I don't remember anything for three weeks following the crash. I have no memories from April 2nd until I remember April 23rd waking up at Craig Hospital. Dr. Barry, he was like my uh, neuropsychiatrist. He kept me grounded. <laughs> he knew what was going on up there. Craig Hospital had impressed me with their immediate expertise about how to handle me and my family and uh, how to handle Lauren's initial first couple of days. She didn't remember a lot about her cycling, but she remembered that she needed to be doing things. She knew that she needed to be exercising and she needed to be on the move because she had been doing that for many, many years. So it was still embedded in her, her brain that she needed to be on the move. And if you wanted to lose weight, all you had to do is walk with Lauren because you'd, she'd walk you your 20 miles each day. That's the God's honest truth. If Craig Hospital had been in Florida, I would have brought some suntan lotion and rented an apartment and put her in down there. 
if Craig Hospital was in Alaska, I'd buy a parka. Simple as that. How could it have worked out any better for me and my family? It was the best possible place I could have been at that time. Mm, the comeback kid. <laughs> That's what people have also called me, the comeback kid. Just like riding a bike, just got back on and it was full steam ahead. <laughs> Today, Lauren is in a great place, and I'm in a great place because Lauren's in a great place. She earned her master's degree, MPH, epidemiology. Thinking that five years from then, I would have a graduate degree, I'd be working at the CDC, I would be able to set a world record, I'd win collegiate nationals, like none of that was in the realm. With COVID, all the professional cyclists were looking at breaking the world record in Everesting. Jim and Lauren, Everest attempt. So I jumped on that bandwagon. <laughs> I have a charity, I could raise money for the Craig Foundation and you know, I could, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try to set a world record. Cause I can totally do that. It took me nine hours, 57 minutes and 29 seconds Invested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Colorado, and now pronounce you husband and wife. You make this oh With the help and guidance of Craig, Lauren has got a firm grip on her life today. exactly where she was supposed to be, you know, in a good place. I couldn't be a prouder dad. Lauren is the strongest person that, could, that I know that can handle challenges and adversity like she's had to literally handle in her life. And I don't know anybody else in my world that could have handled them and come out on top like she has, the way she has, and she's just freaking awesome for that. <laughs> I see myself as the same Lauren, but with a new, like with a life purpose. I don't know if I would have been able to reach this point of my life without Craig being there at my darkest moment. The work that they do is incredible. And a lot of people, a lot of people depend on Craig. What Craig does, it fills the void and it gets you back like to life. And that's why every opportunity I have to help raise money for Craig, whether it be setting that really cool world record <laughs> or any of these like charity events that I keep going to and keep trying to help organize in any way I possibly can, like, like this money is going towards very good things. Every once in a while, everything just happens to work out. <laughs>